But for now, we kind of got a bit of an uh, old matchup that we haven't seen in quite a while. It's Sheergrub versus Loth. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, so Maple versus Orcane. I don't actually think we've seen an Orcane in Inter. We haven't seen too many Orcanes in Inter, at least. Um, they're like here and there. But yeah, Loth is, um, or at least was for a while, one of the like, top Inter players. I'm not kind of hovering around the Inter main area, so be interested to see uh, what he's able to bring to the table this week. I think I'm ready to start. Are you ready to start? I am. Poggies. Uh, game one. There we go. <laughs> okay, so. Time for questions yeah. on Maple Gameplay. Nice. <laughs> uh, so, from what I've heard from Aubrey, uh, this is definitely a very winning matchup for Maple. I'm not really exactly sure why she just said go Maple if you want to beat Orcane. So, uh, <laughs> that's about all I have to say on this matchup. Dang. I will say right out the gate, Loth, uh, what are you doing letting uh, Sheer Grub take you to Merchant Fort SMH? It's definitely a Maple stage, and I think it's also a Sheer Grub stage. Sheer Grub always tries to take me here. Yeah, I've definitely learned. a Sheer Grub. It's also just a, a really good Maple stage. I don't actually know quite how good it is for Arcane. I'm sure it's pretty good, but because Arcane doesn't really have a bad stage. Ooh. Nice catch there with the puddle. And ooh. Oh, good Orca Hop. Yes. Barely sneaking on right there. She already got a little bit greedy. Really... Oh, good Bubble Parry there. You love I feel to like see you it. don't really see. Oh, sorry. No, that's fine. And what uh, you're gonna say is right, there aren't a lot of bubble parries in Inter. Um, no, I was gonna say, uh, I don't really notice people at this level using Orca Hop a lot. Oh, hmm. Because it is a, it's a really good recovery option. Uh, but I guess the penalty for messing it up is kinda high, but yeah, uh, you if you can get it down it. consistently, it's a huge boost. Quite literally. Yeah, I feel like Loth is like the only person I really see consistently bust him out now that you mention it. Uh, if Loth's able to set up another little shoe buckle like that, I wonder if that could be Loth's stock. Because, um. Orkane does dive re at a reasonable percent off the top, less so off the sides. Orkane just doesn't die off the side. Yeah, it's. Definitely an interesting design choice. I don't know if I'm happy with it. But, uh... Oh, there we go. Really wrap. Really wrap. That is a thing. Oh. That we didn't last for long. Oh, no. Ooh, You're getting much shot by your king. Mm, yeah. Well, not getting too much off of that, though. Ooh, that could be it. No. Oh, another Orca Hop, let's go. Yeah, still manages to find one. Now nah, this extra lease on life will Loft be able to bring the game. Percent pretty even, this could swing either way. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. And yeah, it is swinging Loft's way right now. That's an up air. That really is an up air. It's been a bad game one, and Sheer determined to run it back to a stage. Mm. Hmm. Can mildly surprise the Loth wouldn't ban this, but I guess it makes sense. If you just want on it, you probably won't be thinking about it too hard. Makes sense. Makes sense, makes sense. That was an interesting Lily position, I feel like. I don't know, what do you think about Lily on the side plats on the stage? Uh, I think that is where Lily belongs on the stage. Most of the time, yeah. Um, because I think Upstrong does not reach the top platforms, and while it can be nice on the top platforms, you're gonna get Lily wraps more consistently on the sides. Yeah, I guess. I feel like Lily would be easier to deal with on the side plats. The top plats is a lot harder to actually take advantage of wraps. Yeah. It's kind of like, I guess, a situational thing. Like, do you want to get Lily wraps or do you want Lily in a spot that you can combo off? Mm, yeah. 
I think top bots are definitely easier to get like a bounce off of. Ooh, Flop taking a pretty demanding lead here. Oh yeah. And I like the use of uh, uh Boba right there. Just get out of the corner. Pure will even it, or not even it, but take the first stock off Loth. Some progress right here, but Loth is kind of building that lead right back up. Another Orca Hop. I think Loss Recovery has been really good so far. For sure. Lots of different options here. Ooh, good parry on the up air. Not getting too much out of it. Yeah. I feel like, at least from what I'm observing and from what I can tell from playing Loth, Loth does generally play pretty safe. Uh, for an Orcane. Uh, they rely a lot on their like defensive options, like bubbles and just kind of like, ooh, mm -hmm. that will take game two. Well. Yeah, I would definitely agree Loth's a bit more on the slow side here. Uh, yeah, I would definitely like to see Loth get, not like too greedy, but maybe like a little more greedy with ledge guards, because a lot of the time, uh, Lof is kind of letting Sheer just get back on stage, um, and even though he might be like punishing the recovery option, uh, you don't really see him going off stage to catch anything. And Orcane can do some ridiculous stuff off stage. Mm, that's a good point. Yeah, I know. Um, up B in particular, or not up B, up air, really obnoxious yeah. to deal with. And back air because they buffed that move for zero reason. They did buff that move. I will never understand the mind of Dan Fornis. Yeah. I, I don't even think top Orcane players can explain that one. Like, I forget who I was talking to, but... Ooh! Ooh, aww. Aww, it won't kill. That right there is the Sheer Group Classic. He hits me with that, like, every set. Yeah. It's a good confirm. Um... But yeah, like, I forget who it was, but someone said even Zaro can't really explain why Orcane Bear got buffed. It mm. just did. And then Zaro's number one, so... I think it was all rigged. Yeah, I think the reason that I heard from some, like, at least mid-level Arcanes is that a lot of bear confirms never really killed. But, I don't That's know, man. That's fine. <laughs> that, that, move, that move's still kind of strong, even before the buff. Now it's, like, n nutty. Very clutch, savvy right there. That was an interesting edge guard option right there. Oh no! Okay. Huh? Oh no, double dodge? Yeah. I, mean, I think you definitely could have hit it there. You might just not want to take the risk. Yeah, definitely not worth risking but... it. That was certainly an option from Loth. I mean, it works out, but. Definitely was a little on the risky side. I like that follow-up from Lily. The dunk. Block might be forced to teleport here. Ooh. Yeah. Sure I'm gonna get clipped by the teleport though. There Another go one? again. Air fair. And up. Sure grab a bit more ready for it that time. Yeah. Oh no. Ooh. Possible misinput from Loft right there. Yeah. My best guess is I heard the sound and then the cancel likely tried to orca hop there. Yeah. Maybe. Loth definitely looking, or not Loth, uh, Sheer Grub looking a lot better right now. Starting to get some points on the board. Maybe gonna get that reverse 3 out, who knows. Not quite getting anything with that tether. I feel like I haven't seen Sheer use any uh, tether setups on stage, just kind of like a lot of Nair, Fair, and like one or two tether up airs. Yeah. Tether, I would go as far as to say Tether might be the best move in the game. Hmm, really? Yeah. Like, not if we're looking at it in a vacuum, but if we're looking at it in terms of, like, in Maple's kit and, like, as a move, Tether is definitely a top three move. Probably the best. Does have some pretty strong trade, especially with, like, true combos and stuff off of it. Those can be really obnoxious to deal with. Yeah. 
definitely something I thought of along with some of the best mates in the game though. That was an interesting, interesting. tether. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. That looks like it's working out for sure right now. In the game where he's in the lead. Still, I feel like being way too patient on these ledge guards. Even just like jumping up and threatening with bear will control a lot of airspace. Yeah, I mean, obviously bubbles at ledge are the classic strategy. Yeah. But a good guy from Loft right there. I think that's the first time he managed to escape an airfare. Oh, I like the jabs. Loft's doing a pretty good job playing around the platform whenever Shira's up there. Ooh. Ah, it's gonna be a border. Yeah, I know she was kind of joking that he only hit one bull parry this set, but it's a little unfortunate. There are some... Like, I feel like Lost starting to get greedy with bubbles in neutral. Yeah. Um, like, especially the ones on the platform a little bit ago. Those are definitely some situations you want to look out for, unless you're confident that Loth has enough time to try to punish you for the slide parry. Definitely, yeah. Ooh. That DI was... questionable. I'm assuming Loth was holding out for an up strong, but nope. Not enough time to react to the down strong. Most likely, yeah. Okay, we're going into a game five for the first set. Kind of fog. Ooh, Lily up. Not for long, apparently. Oh, it's kind Super of slowly. Picking. Slowly approaching here. Yeah, Jira pad. Quite a bit of an early lead, but Loth is slowly catching up. Won't matter though, Shira will take the first off of that dunk. Yeah. Ooh. I wonder if there was a chance for a Ooh. double dunk right there. Either way, I won't know that Hydra plan is keeping the game even here. Oh, good use of uphill right now. Naval up tilt I feel is really good at anti-airing. Yeah, for sure. It is one of, I guess not the biggest in terms of size, but like size relative to the character, it is one of the bigger disjoints in this game. Yeah, it's definitely up there. And its coverage is like about as good as setter up tilt, which is just a ridiculously good move. The shield button. Yep. Ooh, whiffs the fair. Just barely out of range here. Ooh, and that was another dropped edge guard opportunity, I feel like. Yeah, Loth opting to stay on the ground and up strong, and Shirub not walking right into it. Down strong? Ah. Yep. Yep. I like the attempt from Loth, but gonna miss, and she are taking full advantage of the whiff. Ooh, was not ready for that down strong at all. Ooh, no. The taunt, alright. Yeah, she are. Last taunt, game five. Trying to get pumped for this. Wants to reverse 3-0. Ooh. Bear's coming out. That's 52% already. these players Ooh, and... that's... Oh no. That is a You cannot hold point. out on Orcane F tilt. No, you can't. Well, I mean, I guess you can. You can DI it out, but you gotta be ready to drift in after that, because that move is deceptively strong. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could DI out, but it's not gonna go well for you. That's for sure. 